Hello and welcome to my nose job vlog. I'm gonna be answering all the questions, including price, like the breakdown of the price, including insurance, pain levels and everything at the end. So if you're only here for like before and after and all the questions answering, go to the end. But if you wanna see like my recovery process, I'm just gonna like vlog everything. But first, I have to get COVID tested before I can get the surgery. So that's where I am right now. And that's where I am is like a strong statement because I personally do not know where I am. I will insert the clip of my COVID test now. So I couldn't get footage, but I got COVID tested. <laughs> Hello, I'm back. I look really, really gross right now because I kept forgetting to film, but here I am. Tomorrow is the surgery, which is crazy. Specifically at 6 a.m., which was really painful to hear because the surgery place is two hours away and I have a ton of homework that I need to do right now. Um, I'm not really nervous for the actual surgery. I'm more nervous for the fact that like, because of COVID and everything going on, I can't, my parents can't come in with me. So I have to like go in completely on my own and I can't wear jewelry. I'm gonna be like wandering in the hospital with no idea, no one with me. I don't know who's gonna hold my phone, my clothes. They told me I have to wear comfy clothes. I don't know if I like put the gown on and like get naked after. I, I wear contacts, so like you can't wear them obviously during surgery. So I'm just gonna be like blind, wandering around a hospital and by myself. So that's more what makes me nervous rather than like the anesthesia and the actual surgery because I trust the doctor. I really like him. Hopefully I really like the nose that comes with it. Also for anyone getting this done during the surgery, like you can't wear makeup and obviously you can't wear contacts or glasses. I mentioned the contacts and glasses part, but I didn't mention the makeup. Obviously, you can't wear makeup. And I'm just putting my hair up. They didn't mention what to do, but I'm just, I'm putting it up. I don't know. It's 3.30 a.m. And a nice, delicious glass of water would be great right now. So when I got to the hospital, I forgot to mention you can't have any water 12 hours before. I got changed, they gave me a gown. This is what you put your clothes in in a little plastic bag they give you. And then they gave me the IV, which was really uncomfortable because I felt it inside of my hand. And then they gave me this hat and gown to put on. Hello. So I just got out of surgery a couple hours ago. And the first two hours after I left were like this the worst. Yeah. Ready for we're like the worst water moments water. in my life and I'm just uncomfortable but it's really not that bad I can't really breathe that well but I normally have a thing under but it was like covered in blood so I like took it off a video okay I'll check in a little bit it's now 7 p.m. I'm a little more alive now um so I'm just gonna talk about leaving the surgical unit and basically I woke up in the room um with like cords attached to my body and and the first hour after i woke up was literally the worst thing in the world i wanted water so badly and they literally would not give me water because you can throw up after anesthesia and i literally was crying because i wanted water and i think the worst part was like since covid and everything's going on i woke up completely by myself like my parents couldn't be in the room with me so that sucked okay so last update of the day i'm sorry the quality sucks i just like don't have the energy um pain is tolerable i didn't take any of like the hardcore pain medicines that they prescribed i just take tylenol and that's fine but yeah Overall, my black eyes are forming, as you can tell. So I'll update tomorrow in the morning. And um, yeah, and maybe tomorrow I'll show you how I've been like cleaning my nose because I have to do that a couple times a day. But yeah. Hi, it's day two. 
It's about 4 a.m. I just woke up. Um, I'm not doing awful. I just went to bed at like 9.30. Um, I accidentally like, my like, neck was kinked when I fell asleep. So um, when they tell you you need to sleep on upright, like you have to listen to them because I like swallowed all my blood. And now um, my throat hurts worse and I thought I was gonna feel better. Um, it kind of feels like I um, gargled a chainsaw. But other than that, we're doing fine. I'm dripping. I also got blood all over my sheet somehow. I'm the worst, I can't sleep still. So now I'm putting um, ointment. I don't know if I'm gonna take a towel. I'm not really in that much pain. But we'll see. Only this nostril is dripping. I can like breathe out my nose now, which is nice. <sighs> All right. Um. Oh, and I have the worst chills. It's like the things I didn't expect to hurt that hurt so bad, or like not hurt, or just like uncomfortable. I didn't know I was gonna have the chills. Oh, and I didn't know my throat would feel like someone stuck a knife down it. But again, like physical pains are not that bad. Um, and I do have to put another wrappy thing on. Okay. I'll see you later in the morning. Also, I always thought that, like, the worst part was gonna be, like, the not breathing. And, like, I can't really breathe that much. But it's not as bad as I thought. And, like, normally, like, when I'm sick or something and I can't breathe, I'm, like, panicking and freaking out. Like, I hate not being able to breathe. But it's really not that bad which is crazy um my eyes now that i'm looking at myself closer are getting bruised but it's still not that bad okay see you later okay hi again it's 6 30 a.m now so it's literally only two hours later since i previously filmed and my eyes got so much more swollen which is crazy but pain's still fine I can breathe less, but I'm about to clean my nose. I don't know if I can take a video because it's like really bloody when I've been doing it, but when it gets less bloody, I'll show you. Hi, I'm back. It's like noon. I hurt, so I'm gonna go sleep again. Mm. Okay, bye. Uh, hey guys. It's day three, it's 4 a.m. again. I didn't really check up too much last night um, because I can't see, honestly. And um, I'm just really uncomfortable and I don't like not being able to breathe. But I'm gonna try and sleep again. Mm. Okay, I'll check in later. Okay, this is just me doing my nose rinse because I wanted to show you. I was just like really not in the mood when I filmed this, so I wasn't talking. So yeah, you just stick this thing in and it like comes out the other side. And yeah, you do that a couple times a day. And then this is me just being annoying. Also for the pain and swelling, I just put an ice pack on my face, but... It definitely didn't make a difference appearance-wise, but it might have made me feel a little better. I don't know. Okay, hello. It's like 10 a.m. Day three. Um, yeah, I'm just really uncomfortable. Um, and there's not really much to say. It's the same. The best, the, the good news is that my face ID started working again on my phone. So I don't have to type my password in every single time anymore, which is weird because I still think I'm unrecognizable. Sorry. But yeah, I have my chocolate almond milk. I'm about to take another Tylenol with codeine. I've been taking Tylenol, no other pain meds just because I don't know. I feel like just the Tylenol is fine. 
but yeah overall still really uncomfortable um it's not what i expected it's actually worse than what i expected the recovery because i watched all these videos of these girls being like oh it's not bad then here i am looking like a blueberry Ugh. but yeah i guess i'll check in later tonight i don't know i forget sometimes okay so the swelling okay it's um two o'clock now and i feel a lot better actually i'm still really uncomfortable but i'm not like dying like i felt like i was before um yeah the swelling went down pain went down <coughs> all right so this um, I did another nose rinse, and I feel like that's why I can breathe a little bit right now. This is what I do for the stitches on my nose. My doctor said, like, what you want to do is keep the outside of your nose very dry and the inside of your nose very wet. You're going to want to, like, blow your nose and, like, dry your nose, and you literally can't, which is so painful for me because all i want to do is dry my nose hello so it is still day three it is now 9 p.m and the swelling went down so much and i feel pretty good now my nose is really swollen but my eyes went down and i'm just kind of bruised but it's really not that bad um i did take another tylenol and I still am pretty, like, I can't really breathe still, but that's fine. Oh my god, my nails. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I just went out. So we went out to dinner, and I was so embarrassed because this is what my face looks like. And I'm out to dinner, but it was fine. I was in a lot of pain out to dinner because I was just, like, sitting there and... Oh, I felt awful, but oh. yeah, I'm probably going to go get some sleep. I just took my antibiotics. I put the antibiotic lotion stuff on the bottom of my stitcher stitches and like inside the nose. Hello, it's day four. It's about 9.30 a.m. And um, my swelling moved down to my cheek. So I have like a giant ball on my face and my face ID doesn't work again which kind of sucks i woke up again at 4 30 and clean my nose and clean my nose again at nine but um yeah my ears have finally popped so that's good all right i'll update later so this is still day four but i just wanted to show you what i kind of ate in a day which was a muffin and some oatmeal because i feel like people don't really show what they eat and i feel like it's hard to eat hard foods sometimes but yeah and then for lunch i had a pudding cup which was cool i guess i don't know i ate soft foods i didn't really want to eat anything like hard even though you technically can and then for dinner i just had a piece of pita bread and tzatziki sauce i don't know i definitely didn't eat enough try and get your nutrients i guess hello um it's about 9 30 p.m now and i just showered um Obviously, I didn't wet my face. I, like, washed the bottom of my face, and it felt so good because I haven't showered literally since before my surgery, um, and I just feel so much cleaner now. The bottom of my face is so swollen for some reason, but the bruising and everything near my eyes isn't too bad. Hello. So, it is day five, I'm pretty sure, and this is honestly the best I've felt so far. I haven't had to take any Tylenol today. And like the past couple of nights, I woke up in the middle of the night and took one, but I didn't have to today. My face is pretty swollen and last night was the best night's sleep I've gotten since surgery. But the only thing is I fell asleep on my side. Well, like my head was still propped up, but I fell asleep like on my side. So I don't know if it like would mess anything up. I don't know. I doubt it would, but I don't know. But yeah, so I'm in no pain today. I'm going to try not to take any Tylenol. 
I didn't mention it, but yeah, there's still like a golf ball sized thing in my in my cheek. So I don't know what this is. Okay. Hello again. It's about five o'clock and my parents left me to go to a winery. Um, I know, rude, right? But um my face this swelling's like down here now. Like my eyes are fine. Um, but I did make myself a cheese board, and I know what you're thinking, like, oh, who's eating that with you? And the answer is nobody. Um, pain, I'm not in any pain. Still a little stuffy, but I can breathe a little bit. Okay, bye. Okay, it's 1040, I just ate ice cream, my skin's breaking out, and my nose itches so bad. I'm about to tear this thing off my face myself, I swear. It itches so badly. Oh, ow. And that hurts. I just want to scratch it. Anyways, I only had to take one Tylenol today, which isn't bad. It's pretty good. It's so fat right here still. But I can see. Oh, it's so itchy. Alright, um, I'll update tomorrow. I'm going to bed so I don't rip this thing off my face. I'm going to go crazy. Hello, it is day six, I think, and um, it's currently four o'clock. I haven't really vlogged today because, I don't know, nothing's really changed. Swelling's down almost completely in my eyes, but it's still, like, in the bottom part of my face. Um, but yeah, I'm not in any pain. I'm starting to be able to breathe a lot better, as you can probably tell by the way I'm able to talk like clear i'm not all stuffy anymore but yeah hello today is day six or seven i don't know anymore um but this time tomorrow i will literally be getting this cast off so that's so exciting because it's so itchy like i literally i'm about to rip it off myself hello this is the last time I'm going to bed with this cast on and I'm so excited to get it off because it's starting to really bother me. I'm starting to like pick at my nose and touch my face way too much, which are the things that they tell you not to do. And I'm literally like putting my nails like under the sides of the cast. Like I just want it off. It itches so bad. Like I just want to, I'm excited to just itch my nose. But yeah, so this is the last look of it. Um, yeah, tomorrow I get to see what it actually looks like, so I'll update you tomorrow and hopefully my mom will take a video of, like, my reaction. I just dropped my camera. Okay. Today's cast removal day. Um, the stitches are very itchy, so I am excited to get it off finally. All right, so I'm about to get my stitches and cast removed. Um, I wanted my mom to get my reaction, but they're not allowed to come with me. So I will show you when I'm done. Hello, and this video has been a very, very long time in the making. I wanted my nose to like, heal and look good by the time I made this. It's been almost four months, so it's been a very long time. And I wanted to start by saying, if you're gonna get this procedure done, do it for you, don't do it for anyone else. I personally did it to feel more confident and I've never felt as confident as I do now, especially recently. All right, now onto the price, because I feel like people don't really answer this for whatever reason. It was about $6,900 for me, almost 7,000. Um, insurance took off about two, three thousand. I did have to get a CAT scan though to prove I had a deviated septum. My doctor was Dr. Andavia. He's in Princeton, New Jersey. He did a great job. He was so nice. I was so comfortable through the whole thing. As you saw, the worst part for me was discomfort more than it was pain. Like I wasn't really in pain. It was just really uncomfortable. And I thought like a week or two and I wouldn't be as stuffy. Like I could sleep normally. Like it's not like a snap into recovery process. Like I continued having an extremely stuffy nose for a month after I had to still sleep 
upwards for like multiple weeks so yeah you don't snap back into like a normal life right after like it's a much longer process of recovery than you're expecting what I personally liked about my procedure and I recommend people look into this when they get it done is that my doctor did not pack my nose so I didn't have anything stuck inside my nose no splints or anything that needed to get taken out which I think changed the entire thing yeah I was stuffy for like a while after but I'm pretty sure that's the case no matter what and I was able to breathe a little bit. I think the process would have been awful if I couldn't breathe it all the entire time. I'm not really sure what else. I feel like I covered a lot during the entire video, but if anyone has any other questions, like I will make another video if you want information on your consultation, anything like that. Like I'll make another video. Just let me know what you guys want. Thank you for watching. I wish everyone the best of luck. You don't need a nose job to be beautiful. But if it's something that you think would change your life like it changed mine, then I really do recommend it.